Hello. I'm Connor. I'm Tegan. And for this week, Tegan, I have not set a challenge for you. I haven't got a challenge. No, we're going to play a game instead. And this is a game you can play with absolutely anyone in the world, (laughs) regardless of language barriers. So no matter who someone is or where they're from, you can play this game. And what will happen is I'll take your pen and I will come over here and I'm going to draw you a shape. And now you've got to make an image out of that shape. I've got to make an image out of that. Yeah. Can I clean up this little bit of line? I think you've got to incorporate it. Well, this little bump. <laughs> this weird little bump. Can I can I clean that? Maybe. Uh, just, just, I'm on the wrong layer. And it doesn't want to let you clean it. It knows you're cheating already. No, I just wanted to clean up the layer a little bit like that. See? No, it's not. There, there's not a weird bump involved. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to lower the opacity so that I can see what I'm doing. Such a thick line as well. Do I need to keep it that thick? That is your shape. I want you to make something from that shape. Oh, you're making this so difficult. Can I rotate the shape? Yeah. I can rotate it. Okay. Can I see it being anything? I can kind of see something already. What? Well, where have you got it, though? In your head? That way around. That way around. Oh, what do I do? I can add to it, though. Yeah. So you can add whatever you want to this now. This is just your framework. Okay. Okay. Think of it like an ink blot test. Yeah. This is your blot. What do you see? Not much. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm not very good at these things. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm not seeing anything for there yet, really. See, this, this is great because it tests the abstract mind. I think I'm imagining it with spikes of sort. Like that's its back. That's its back. Okay. And then I'm seeing maybe like a mouth here. There's a happy smiley. There's a little lump there. For an eye lump. For the eye. Okay, so it's like a lizard fish thing at the moment. Yeah. So it has the flat nose, and that's the mouth. It's Gojira. It's Gojira! And... I find with things like this as well, perspective is your friend. Yeah. I'm gonna have... That's that's a leg. Okay. And then that's where its foot is. Like, it's got a little hoof. It's got a little... Ah, hoof. It's got a hoof. This is like a... Fish lizard horse. Yeah, this is like a mythical creature. They're hooves, but... No, it's just a belly dragger. I could make it a belly dragger. Because then what I could do is I can follow that line up like that. Could be preggers. Prego. And then that's like the underbelly part. Again, this is where you can add to and take away from the line. This bit up here, yeah, that bit, can be like the top side of a leg. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And so then you can bring the leg down. What I do is I could do the hoof there. Oh, and it's just kind of sitting. And it's just kind of sitting. What it would do is do that thing. Okay, so that could be like a big fin. You can bring the back straight down to that kind of bulgy yeah. bit at the bottom right. So what I'll do is I'll race those bits. Oh, now it's like a frog. It is a little bit like a frog. A hoofed frog. Now it's got to come down lower yeah. to meet that line. And then that can be like a little... It's cute little animal butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to animal butts. We all know how much you love your cute little animal butts. It is something. It's like a little shell. Little little butt shell. Uh-huh. A little butt shell. <laughs> it's got a hat for its butt. But it can't have one up here because it's got something here. It's a fin with a chomp taken out of it. Oh, it's got wings. That is its wing and this is like almost like cartilage. That's like cartilage. Come again. You know like cartilage in your nose? No, I'm aware of what cartilage is. I'm just... Like it's got a bone structure and the rest of it is cartilage. It's like just got that's like a... part of the wing. It's just got a fleshy bit on it. Well, no, not a fleshy bit because it doesn't need to be fleshy to have cartilage. But that shape there, that's cartilage. It keeps the wing strong. Okay. So that, this bit, this bit, and this bit, that's essentially bone. And then this bit here in between the bone is cartilage. Okay. Because I still need to keep those bits of shape. Really? You've got a winged frog with a hard hat on its ass and hooves for feet. Yeah, I I like him. Like, uh, he's my little pet. He'd be a cute pet. Have you got a name for this creature? Frost. 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 (laughs) Frost. Frost. Cross between frog and horse. You have to, like, remove your tongue to be able to pronounce it properly. Yeah, only, only, only the higher beings can pronounce this. It's happy chappy. This happy chappy. See, it's pretty good up front, and then it just kind of goes to <laughs> yeah. who knows what back there. Who knows what. Let's do an actual drawing of this, now that I have the layout for it. We have 
some of these pointies like that. He's got like a mohawk. Just a mohawk of spines. A mohawk of spines. It, it's it's a defense mechanism, you see, like a little bit like a hedgehog. They go down if they're com if if he's comfortable. You may stroke me if I like you. Yeah. I do actually need to keep that bottom layer up to make sure I know where the original lines are. That's okay. You can you can go off the original lines now and then add them back in at the end and see how far you've come. No, no, because you don't want me changing anything about the original lines apart from you let me do that one part where I changed the just the lumpy bit. You got a little mouth? So it's very iguana up front. I know I'm just saying lots and lots of animals. It is very iguana up front. But the rest of it kind of goes to pop. It's just a bit of a chimera. Yeah, I think he has a sad existence. Probably one. It is quite difficult to live with the pot belly being the way it is. There's the little leg. The little I give up with life leg. Yeah, it's it's a common form of leg <clears throat> in this creature. You finally get them when they get to about a year old. I'm just like, no more, enough torture, I can't possibly go on. Why is he, uh... Because look at him, <laughs> you'll see to have a voice like this. Does he? I don't know. So what is the hard hat thing? It's just a shell. Just a wing and a shell. Just a wing and a shell. Wing goes quite far back. And then you got the other wing behind it. And then that wing... It's shaded because it's behind. Yes. Probably do that with this leg as well. Wow, stay in the lines. Stay in the lines. And yeah, that's that's in shade. These bits are in shade. And we're going for some heavy shading today. Ooh. We're feeling that dark, mysterious vibe. Look, look at the mystery in those eyes. That eye. He's, he does look very mischievous. He does. Oh, I forgot to make it so that that was the underbelly. There you go, little, little stripies. And this is our happy little boy. It's definitely a thing. It's a thing. That didn't exist before, and now it does. Aren't you glad it is? Yeah. It's got a little... But as I say, you can play this with absolutely anyone. I mean, I've, I've done this in airports where I just draw a shape, take the pad and a pencil up to someone and just hand it over, and they just start drawing from the shape. So you really can play this with anyone, regardless of the level of talent you have, which I think I might have to prove. You're going to do it. I think I'm allow you for once to draw a shape and uh, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Full? Okay. If it's really bad, I'll just cut the whole thing out. Cut the whole thing out? Yeah. So I'm going to do a shape now. I'm going to do it in the same bluish so that you can see it. That last little bit, I can correct that because I'm still drawing the shape. Okay. That was not how I wanted it to look. And that is the shape I want you. I want you to draw. I want you to draw stuff. Can it, can Shall it? we swap seats? Uh, yes. You shuffle, get, shuffle, shuffle. You get to sit in the drawer seat for once. I have no idea what I'm doing here. How do I pen? Uh, you just let it touch it. I don't like being in this seat. No one likes being in the artist's seat. What do you see? What do I see? I see... I think I know what I see. It might be a little bit easy. You're going for a bird. I kind of don't want to go for a bird because it's, it's, it's too easy. But you don't have to go for a bird. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to see. Remember, you can rotate this. I do don't know to? how to rotate things. So hold R and then touch the screen. Oh, okay. There you go. That could be like a running dog to that side or something. If you felt like it, you, you do this whatever way you feel. There you go. It's a tooth. It's No. Yeah, it's a tooth. <laughs> I did it. You need to draw something. Come on. What way do you want it? Do you want it back to the original? Yeah. Okay. Now you got to press on the pen icon. I'm going to not do a bird because a bird's pen. too easy. But we will... <laughs> okay. Ah! I'm pressing buttons. Don't don't press the buttons. I'll try not to press the buttons. How are you finding drawing on this tablet? So, I'm a little bit shaky. I'm not going to lie. You've no need to be shaky. Uh, just, I'm inherently shaky. You're inherently shaky. I am inherently shaky. It's okay, because you can come in and you can clean up all these lines afterwards, right? That's... Oh my goodness. That's what you're leaving for me to do. Looks like you're going for a little bit of a crocodile snout at the moment. I... Yeah. I thought I'd go... And I think we've got to be kind here, as you're not used to this. No, I have never... Ooh, I have never done digital art before. So I think you can just follow the guideline of the lines, rather than having to Ugh. use the lines. Why was that so big? Pressure sensitivity losing itself. Uh, usually because something outside of the screen has been touched. We're going for like some sort of skeletal, spiky, crocodile-looking creature. 
is it going to be a flying crocodile? You're not so talkative, Connor. I'm not. It's because I'm actually concentrating. I'm not used to this. He's concentrating. Do you think you'd benefit from any sort of teaching of well, how to do digital? No, I've got this down pat. Perfect. First time round, I know exactly what I'm doing and everybody can tell that I'm obviously great at this and this is super easy and everyone should judge everybody else on their art talent. Okay. Make snap judgments and... Ah! Where's his eyeballs? I haven't got that far yet. I'm liking his little toesies. Yeah, well, I can do claws. I can do little claw toesies. Oh my God, how do you do this? (laughs) And you thought this was going to be a short episode. It's just... How does... How do? <laughs> I I don't know how to explain it to you without taking over at the moment because... Do you know what it is? I can't look at what I'm doing, if that makes sense. Yes. For any of you who don't know, I have a Wacom Intuos Pro. It's one of those ones where you've got the pen and the tablet, but everything appears on your screen and not the tablet. So you have to coordinate your hand and eye so that you're looking at a screen but drawing on a tablet. Yeah, and it doesn't... It's not... No. Ah! I'm all, like, tangled up. Nothing feels natural. (laughs) Oh, he's cute, though. Thank you. He's got, like... An excited expression on his face. He's a happy boy. Is that another leg? Yeah. Oh, is he like kicking back? Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> that went the wrong way. And this will all be... Underbelly? Under ballage. Under ballage. Under ballage. <laughs> oh, that under ballage. Oh, I'm liking this boy. I didn't want to do a bird. And I think you did the right thing. Though I want to see if he still has wings or not. Oh, he's got to have wings. He's an air boy. Yeah. So is his tail curled around? Yeah. It's to the background? It's tail curled back around himself. Oh, and is this a wing? Yeah. Oh, you got fluffy wings. Sure, that was intentional. <laughs> Are they not meant to be fluffy? Um, I think it's just poor line work more than anything. Are they fluffy or feathery? Both. Both. My apologies, I've still got cold, so I'm a bit throaty. Which is why I'm not quite happy that this is taking up so much of Connor's concentration that he can't speak. Yeah, I am sorry. Like, this is so much harder from your side. I'm realising this now. I think a lot of people don't realise that a lot of effort goes into learning how to change your whole way of drawing because you are going digitally. If you ask an artist, they're not going to say, oh, it was really difficult because it doesn't feel like it was difficult. It was just something we got used to over time. What would you say your experience with it at the moment is? Like, what's your feeling behind going digital? Because I've seen some of your normal drawings. You know, I would say that you're actually fairly decent at drawing. But you, this, you say that you're not. This is obviously very sketchy. I think I, I, it's because I can't... I can't feel... Apparently I zoomed. Apparently I'm zooming. I'm zooming. How do I not zoom? The pen! I'm zooming in on the pen. It's all right. I want it to be... Ah! I, I'm loving this boy. He's beautiful. I, th- I don't think it's too bad. If he can have his little ear roll ear. He's going to have a unicorn horn. Yeah, he's Oh, got... he's got, like, pointy fake ears. He's got little front horns here. Oh, he's got front horns. He made a cute boy. There you go. It's... Look at the beautiful boy. It's definitely a thing. Oh, I like him. You would. He's got a good, good face. Got a big twirly tail. He has got a big twirly tail. He's got fluffy wings. Spiky back. Yeah, it does need more spikes on his back, though, doesn't he? Well, I thought that, but then I realised that the wing is... Kind of covering most of it. Covering I think they need to come down the tail. If you do them down the tail, it will give the illusion of spikes. You're going to come clean this up for me, right? I'll clean I'll clean it up for you. And Oh, you've just drawn a penis on his leg. No, I haven't. Just you've got... just drawn a penis on his leg. He's just got scales. He's just a scaly boy. I'm seeing a penis. You would. He's a scaly boy. And he's a beautiful boy. And this is a lot harder than it looks. I'm glad I'm seeing this from your point of view as well as mine. Just His wings are a little bit dirty. I don't like them. Don't worry, that'll get cleaned. 
I want to be the artist. I <laughs> want to be the one with the talent. I mean, you have got talent. No, just not... I just waffle. I mean, you're just not used to. This I'm just not useful. Media. Medium. I don't like his leg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how his leg comes out there. I feel like it should be bent the other way. Is does he need to be? No, yes. his leg can go the other way. Yeah, his legs need to go the other way. See, I'm learning. I'm I'm learning how to draw it. Can I make this bigger? Does this go bigger? Yeah. The the size is in that corner up to the left. It, if you just go up to the I've done it now. Just asking for future references. It's it's a stylistic choice. The leftover ink. Yeah. Maybe if you do that front leg come in front of the other back leg. How do I keep breaking this? <laughs> you need to be delicate. Is that his little foot? Yeah. He's got a cute little foot. Oh, he's got cute little legs now. And the other leg can be like pushing back behind. I is like doing a doggy paddle. In the middle of the air, yeah. That's adorable. Yay! Yeah, why not? <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. I think I will prefer it once you clean it up. I do like him. I will not be changing anything about him. Uh, no, just add a new layer and make my lines a lot frigging cleaner. Yeah. Because that, that's the issue here is, well, it's one of the many issues, but it's, I literally, my hand, so trying to draw a straight line, <laughs> it just doesn't you're, want you're, to. You're not doing it in a way that you have to learn on digital art. Now, some of you may notice that I do quite quick strokes sometimes. Sometimes I do chicken strokes. <laughs> may I demonstrate quickly? So chicken strokes are what I like to call when you're doing this. So you're getting loads of different lines in one area. So that's your chicken stroke. That's how you change the size, by the way. So that's your chicken stroke. And what you're looking at doing, because you're trying to do a slow line, you can't do that on digital because you're going to see it. You're going to see every little nook and cranny. So you need to do quick lines. But they're so thick. Well, that's why you change your pen size. Oh, you didn't tell me I could change my pen size. Yeah, you can always change your pen size because then you can do little quick ones like that. Oh, well. Next time. Next time. I don't like his arm. I don't like the way his arm's going. I think it's just, there's something wrong. Ah! Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. That's... Please don't do that. <laughs> I think his arm would be slightly further back than where you it. It would be. So you see that uh, little bit of neck that is in front of that arm? Yeah, it come, it come like that, yeah. There you go. That'll do. That'll do. I'm liking your boy. I think I did all right from where I started. Yeah. I think you did. I don't know what mine is. I don't know what yours is. It's a weird Bulbasaur froggy He's He's iguana. a nice little almond boy. An almond boy? He's got an almond shaped head. Oh, like God. all cute boys. Just look at the difference in the line work. It's clean. Scruffy. <laughs> it, it's all depending on your style. Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Do you want to sign your piece off? No, I don't. You don't want to sign it off? No. Don't put that on there. Okay, the pen doesn't go on there. No, it has a holder for a reason. Mm.